Hi, this is Vin from Coding Cosmo. We're going to be looking at Vector today. We're going to be doing some maintenance on his wheels. So what happened with me was I had an issue with his wheels where I just noticed that it was clicking as he was driving. I picked it up and started uh, manually rotating his wheel and it would get to a point and it would stop. And there was obviously a physical barrier or something that was preventing the, the wheel from turning. I would push it forcefully and it would make a loud clicking noise and then it would go around one full turn and then again I'd have to force it and make a clicking noise. It was not good and I wasn't happy about it. I was uh, quite disappointed and I was documenting it in uh, preparing to write to Anki to say hey unfortunately I think I've got a faulty uh, vector and I'm going to need to uh, replace it. But I didn't need to do that because I fixed it myself and it's Something that's going to occur, be a problem with a lot of uh, vectors, I think, as we roam around the desks where it's, you know, we've got dust and things on the, on the surface that we're roaming around on, inevitably it's going to be picked up and, and uh, caught in the wheel mechanism. So let's have a look at that. I've already fixed the one on the left. There's nothing wrong with the one on the right, but I suspect that it too will be full of gunk. So let's whip it off and have a look. So what you need to do is obviously take the track off first so let's do that that's pretty simple then underneath here you'll see these uh, vector has removable hubcaps so we can just uh, hook your uh, thumbnail under there and, and just give it a, a good pull and you can pry that off uh, quite easily underneath there you'll see that there is a screw a Phillips head screw just holding that on there it is I've got my trusty screwdriver here, so let's get in there and take that off. Now that screw's gone, we've just got the wheel there. I'll lift it up a bit closer so you can have a good, a good view of this. So I'm just going to pull that wheel off now. And again, I'm going to just oh, put my thumb under there, pull it off. And you can see there is actually not much gunk under here. I'm really uh, quite impressed. Um, there's a little bit there, but that, that's okay. Now, on my other wheel, I had a tremendous amount of stuff built up there. I'm going to show you some pictures uh, that I took. But I like the mechanism here where you, you can see there's teeth on the outside of the, the well, the inside of the wheel uh, going around the, the edge. Well, that um, hooks onto this drive cog here. Uh, so. Yeah, it's the one thing that does protrude out of the chassis. See, I thought the whole drive mechanism would be inside and I would not be able to get uh, access to it, but I was wrong. The very part that I needed to access, the drive cog, does actually protrude out there. So, as you can see, like I said, it's quite clean. However, there's probably going to be a strong tendency to want to blow that, <laughs> especially if there is a buildup of, of dust around there. I, I don't advise you do that because Underneath the, here is, you know, an opening to Vector's uh, inner parts. And if you start breathing your hot, moist um, breath in there, you're going to get some moisture in the inner workings and you don't want that. So what you can do is get a can of compressed air and sh just spray it in there and uh, that'll blow away any dust. Alternatively, you could get a lint-free lint cloth and maybe give it a wipe. Also, I found that it wasn't enough to just blast it with some air. I had to get a toothpick in there and actually physically pull uh, the, the lint and things out of the cogs here. So I just did that and I went around very slowly and uh, I made sure that it was completely clean. Then you just want to stick it back on, same way that we took it off. Just, just uh, you know, very, very obvious really. Put it on, slide it over there, put the screw back on, put the hubcap on. Put your tread back on, and you're good to go. And that's how to take care of your vector.